but as the rain clears, I'm into a fish. Good size fish. And this one feels different. It's just going, going, going. I've just gained a bit of line. The first bit of line I've gained. Oh, gently, gently, gently. Oh. Oh, oh! Silvery fish jumping out of the water. For a second, that looked like a sarang, but it slides straight through my super tough leader. After 10 solid days fishing, something has to give. The big, big cloud of bubbles down there. Big, big cloud of bubbles. I've hooked into my biggest fish yet. Yes, yes, that's the fish. Could this be the one I'm waiting for? This is gonna show, it's gonna show. But a telltale flash of red and gold shows this isn't a serene. That's our reply, saw the whole thing come out of the water. It's an old adversary, a magnificent fish. But because of my fixation with the sarang, I feel a tinge of disappointment. I know that fish are weightless in water, but even a fish like this, not even beating its tail, just the momentum of it, just the mass of it coming through the water, displacing water. line coming up through the water. But as this Amazonian giant is finally tamed here in Thailand, gosh, I'm again wondering if I'm looking for the wrong answers in the wrong places. 180 <laughs> odd pound Arapaima. Whew. Big smile on my face, but still no sarang but catching any fish that it takes three grown men to lift is surely cause for celebration. <laughs> That's always really nice to see. The fish going off with plenty of energy and just nice to see a fish in such good condition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.